Good morning, everyone. Romans 1.5 says, By whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Um, in one short scripture here, Paul is saying that we have been saved by grace through faith for obedience. Yeah, the word that you know, we really never like to ponder on much, but really you were either for him or against him. So you were being obedient to Christ and you were being changed and constantly corrected by the Holy Spirit into the obedience of Christ in all ways in every single way that is in the scriptures. Or you were being disobedient. And you, you may not know him, but if you, you you can have that assurance, if you feel and know that you are being corrected. Like I remember the story of um, a preacher who said two two events and two different outcomes, but the same exact thing happened. Right, the unsaved man or woman has a fight with their spouse feels bothered by them, curses them out for work and leaves. Goes to work and in the first instance they're, they're unsaved, right? No guilt. No issues. Just continues on with the day. The saved man or woman has that same situation happen. But on the drive there, gripped with guilt. By the time they get to work they have to call their spouse and apologize and say forgive me and say I was wrong. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit in you. And that's obedience. Is, is, is not only doing the will of God, right? Because we're not always going to be able to walk perfectly in obedience, as that example showed, we've all fallen um, into something like that, or similar, or maybe completely different, but we've all fallen. But the difference is, is we cannot stay there. We cannot sit there. So no, today, your assurance comes from the conviction of the sin that you have and the revelation thereof so that you might live a repentant or a turned away or a completely 180 degree lifestyle continually turning away from your sin from the temptation and obeying the commands of Christ and being called and felt drawn to them as though it is something that is not within you but it is something that is, is guiding you with a with a a calm but firm hand into those things. Because in us is only wickedness, but it is the spirit that now lives in us that can produce this righteousness, that are that can turn our works from filthy rags into something that has been ordained by God and laid out before the foundations of the earth for us to walk into. So praise God for that. What a hope. Love you guys.